I felt comfortable. My guards made it very easy for me in the paint to get easy baskets. Definitely can't take anything away from them. They made my life a lot better tonight, and I just appreciate them for that. So all credit to my guards. Appreciate it. How about that? <laughs> Did you feel like y'all could take advantage of them with your size? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I think uh, everyone could see that tonight. Sarah, you just you seem to have a really good feel for where everybody is. I, I remember a fast break where you had the little bounce pass, maybe to Jordan. I remember it was kind of free traffic. Are you getting a really good feel for that? I am. I think I know where a lot of our a lot of our team wants the ball, and I think I'm growing as a point guard. And I think I'm always thinking to play ahead. I'm thinking of how can I get the next person open, or how can I get the next person open shot. So I think I'm always thinking to play ahead. Was this one a little tough? Up for just in terms of, I mean, if you guys watch scores, I mean, Texas has just kind of destroyed them last week. Is that hard not to, you know, not to look past that? I mean, credit to them, but I think at the end of the day, we play our game. We got to wake up for every game because at any given night, you can't be beat. Mm -hmm. I mean, what, for you, what was the difference? But you didn't score a lot at UTA, maybe it didn't come to you, but you know, what was the difference from that going to this game for you? Our coach has been emphasizing paint touches and just getting the ball in the paint when we're open. And so I definitely feel like our guards came into this game more open-minded and they just understood that, you know, we do have the advantage in the post. And if we do get double teamed like we were tonight, we'll kick it back out to the guards. But we just been emphasizing being able to pass the ball inside. And so I definitely feel like our guards took that to another level tonight. I think every game, coach just challenge us to get better at something each and every game. I think, you know, it's about chemistry, us learning our strengths and weaknesses. So I think each game we grow at something different. And I think defense is something that we're still working on. But you can see the growth in our game. You can see when we get defense to stop, you see where we've grown in our game. You guys ready for the challenges coming up with these next four games away from here? And then Maryland, obviously, on Sunday. Yeah, we'll definitely start preparing for Maryland. We've been thinking about them, you know since they've been on our schedule, but we haven't really been preparing for them. So definitely feel like these next few days is going to be a lot more challenging guarding them. They move a lot. They shoot the ball a lot. So I'm sure our coaches will have us ready in time by that game. Sarah, how can you, um, when you've got a shooter that's struggling, as a point guard or just as a guard, what do, you, what do you do to try to encourage? I see about Jamie tonight. Mm -hmm. Uh, Jamie's a great shooter. I think, you know, some people, everybody has an off night. And I know that I can throw it to her and 10 seconds left in the game and she'll knock the three down. So I don't think, you know, necessarily I have to say anything to her. I think she knows she's a great shooter and you have to find her rhythm. So I think as a point guard, I have to find her in the right spots just to get her going. But overall, I know the next game she's going to come back on fire. And I guess, you know, along that same line, she hit her last two, she had a little finger roll and the three-pointer. Is that, you know, that's got to help her, I guess, Oh, yeah, I think, you know, tonight was an off night, and I know coming back from Maryland, I know she knows she's going to have to play a huge role and knock down shots. So I think she'll get in the gym. We'll all get in the gym prepared. But I know next game she's going to knock every shot down. You know, they, they – uh, I thought they congested. Um, obviously, Liz was a focus. There were three people around her most of the night, um, you know, and so there's times you have to manufacture – manufacture points. I thought there were times when we were able to to really post and, and get the ball inside and other times that they were just really collapsed and we needed to step up and make shots, which, you know, I don't think we did consistently enough, um, you know, but, but I do think we have to have that balance. You know, we shot over 50% in the game. Um, you know, we've got to continue to do that. I, I think this was just one of those games where you know, we, we have to be better coming out of the gate. We, we didn't start the game with enough energy. Um, you know, really felt like, you know, it sounds crazy to say 15 points is a lot. <laughs> um, but I felt like it was a lot. Like, I felt like, you know, we didn't impose our will early enough. And then, you know, I had to be a jerk and, and yell and scream a little bit. And, you know, because I, I think sometimes, like, you, 
it's it's easy to relax against an opponent that you think is inferior to you. And so, you know, it's just it's not okay. Like every 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 possession matters that we're getting better um, because we're going to turn around and face Maryland, you know, in the in the next game. So, you know, I, I just don't think we can take possessions for granted at either end. And we were turning the basketball over for absolutely no reason and, uh, you know, not guarding as hard as I thought we could. And, and so I think those were, those were our biggest issues. No, I mean, she was efficient around the rim. I think sometimes, like, I think she, you know, late in the game, Miss Liss wide open when they doubled her, you know, under the rim. Like, she's got to find her buddy in that situation, um, you know. But I, I think she definitely did a good job of, of composing herself on her shot, finishing up through a little contact. I mean, obviously they're smaller, but you still got to fight for the ball. And I thought she went up and fought. Uh, to get offensive rebounds and give herself a chance in that situation and had that little string where we just kind of ball screen and played to an overload and were able to, you know, feed it to her for a simple drop step. And, and uh, you know, it was just good to see her not complicate that. Sometimes she, she'll she like, like to show us her package of turnaround jump shots instead of just kind of the drop step, simple finish, two points in the bank. So, you know, I just think when she plays simple basketball and she takes her time, she's got good touch. You know, she's she's a special athlete, um, and so she did. She definitely did a good job finishing tonight. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think any coach, you know, is is probably happy with a lot of things this time of year. I think you, you know, every game gives you something, you know, to look at and to work on. Um, you know, we just haven't seen a lot of man-to-man -man defense this season other than that, the opener against Texas State. I mean, we pretty much saw 40 minutes of, of zone against UTA, although they went late when we kind of broke the game open. They played a little man late, and I thought, yeah, and they made a play two straight possessions of man tonight and then jumped right back into the 2-3, so they mixed 3-2 and 2-3 against us. And so, um, you know, Maryland's going to play switching man, and they're they're going to, um, you know, play some 1-2-2 two, two as well, some 3-2. They'll, they'll press us a little bit. So, you know, every game kind of you're working on something a little bit different, so you never get in that groove of like, all right, now we're going to get to do this or that. So, you know, fortunately we have we should have a real three-day prep, you know, for Maryland, and and hopefully we we can get better during that stretch. Uh, what did you think of the, uh, the defense? They uh, had 25 turnovers. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I thought at times it was good, and at times I thought it was a little too relaxed. Like I I think that. You know, they kind of ran the same actions over and over and over again. I don't think there were actions that necessarily hurt us. I think it was, you know, a lot of times it came down to players making some plays late. You know, I thought we didn't do a great job early in the game. Then, then I thought midway through the first, you know, through into the fourth quarter, I thought we really kind of dialed in and made them take and, and sometimes make tough shots, contested pull-ups. Um, late in the shot clock, you know, we were we were communicating better um, with the shot clock situation. And so um, I think there were moments we were good. I think there were moments that we just didn't impose our will. We were too relaxed. You know, I, I thought that, you know, when Jaden comes into the game, her ball pressure really sets the tone for us defensively. And so, you know, as much as she came in and didn't score, she impacted the game significantly just with her ball pressure. Um, she slows teams into offense. She does a good job being physical at the point of attack on the first action. And and so that I thought that made a big difference because, you know, we, we've got to set the tone at the point of attack, um, you know, with that starting group. Yeah, I mean, that's obviously why I had her in there. I mean, I, I think every every player, you know, you're you 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 look around sometimes and it's it's sometimes it's been Sarah that I've left in, you know, late with that group because she's got the young legs and um but I thought today Jamie um you know, I just I don't think she caught it ready to shoot it. I, I don't 
You know, she turned it over on, you know, an early post pass and we'd really focus the last few days on being better at our post feeds. And, and so, you know, I, I just don't think she was catching it ready to shoot it. Um, and I thought that was the problem with our misses. Like, I just think she's a great, great three point shooter. Um, but I think every great three point shooter has to do their prep early. Um, and, you know, you have to have your feet set and you have to be ready to step into your shot. And I thought it was almost like an afterthought, like, oh, I'm open, I better shoot it, as opposed to, like, hunting your shot and, and being prepared in that moment. Too many times she was floating around, you know, five or eight feet behind the arc, you know, and, and really not putting herself in position against the zone where when we did skip it to her, that, you know, she's stepping in comfortably at the three-point line. So, you know, I think it was great. I mean, I, I think, you know, to, to get those last two um, to go in, um, you know, we, we need that from her. We need her to make, you know, open threes and, and to create spacing um, because they, they, they literally put a little shield up around Liss most of the game, um, which I'm sure was frustrating for her. Um, but there were times that there were three people sandwiching her. Um, and, and it's going to be hard for a lot of teams to do that. Um, and a lot of teams aren't going to put three people around her. Um, but, you know, today, I mean, I think it was one of those games where, you know, it, it was harder to get her shots no matter – because they were in a zone, you know. So, you know, it, it comes down to is she flashing, is she open, you know, does she, does she seal in actions, you know. Like, you know, her and Liz both – or Liz and, and Queen in a lot of our zone actions start, start in the same space um, and have the ability to flash and play. And, and so, you know, I just think they were a little more dialed into her defensively um, than anybody else on our team.